Hey y'all, so I know I look tired, but it's because I was so excited last night I couldn't sleep because I'm gonna be joining Mark Wahlberg today. Could this really be happening? To watch his latest movie. What? Hey Troy, I was just gonna let you know, we never got a hold of Mark, so he's not coming. But he is gonna be here. Yeah, he's not coming at all. But he's coming later? Bruh. No, I, like, I mean, he's not gonna be here. So, no Mark Wahlberg. Please don't be mad at me then. Why are we doing this? Hey y'all, so I look tired today for no reason apparently because we are not gonna be joined by Mark Wahlberg today. And I'm excited because I'm going to be giving you a Christian but non-Catholic reaction to this Catholic film, Father Stew. So let's jump in. So a couple quick facts about the film. It was made in 2022. It's a religious drama. Uh, it's rated R, which I'm guessing stands for reliable or... Oh my gosh. We're in for a ride here. We are uh, about 15 seconds into this film. There's been two major words uh, and then one semi curse word, so. But no, real disclaimer here. This film is rated R for language, so please be careful uh, if you have little children in the room uh, before watching it. I'm not gonna be revealing any of that language here today. Father Stew is based on a true story. Father Stew is an unflinchingly honest, funny, and ultimately uplifting drama we'll see if it is or not, about a lost soul who finds his purpose in a most unexpected place. Interesting. When an injury ends his amateur boxing career, okay, I did not see that twist coming, Stuart Long, played by Mark Wahlberg, moves to LA dreaming of stardom. Wow, that's interesting. And the tagline here is the best part, here we go. The tagline is, God wanted a fighter and he found one. So we'll see if this film lives up to the tagline. I'm not saying that it can't. It, it, may, it may live up to it, here we go. Oh, no way. Mel Gibson is his dad? Okay, so I'm about 15 minutes into this thing. So far what I've noticed is they really bring on strong the negative side of things at the very beginning. There's no like subtle leading into it. There's really no, very little character development of the main character uh, before you, they start showing you all the problems that he's having. So that's one one thing, it's kind of maybe a criticism, but we'll have to wait to see till later. Um, another thing that I've noticed is there are a whole lot of curse words in here. Uh, so I'm gonna give a free advertisement right now to VidAngel. Uh, if you haven't tried that service, I'm not getting paid to say this. It's just a really cool service. Uh, and they, you can, they'll allow you to filter uh, any movie or TV show that you want, which is really neat, uh, as long as you own or rent that movie somewhere else first. Um, so that's cool. One other thing I've learned is his character decides to punch a statue of Jesus and <laughs> learns the hard way that you don't try to punch Jesus. Oh. Wow, okay, so they are having some serious conversations between Stu and his dad, uh, Mel Gibson and Mark Wahlberg, those characters, and oh my gosh, it is, it's pretty intense. Uh, it's gonna be very interesting to see what they do. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Oh. That is bad. Whoa. He just got in a real bad wreck. So he gets in a wreck, a really bad wreck, obviously. Um, but he has this experience of this guy coming and talking to him at the bar before he goes drinking and driving and wrecks. And it's it, it's kind of implied that it might be an angel. <clears throat> might have been a supernatural experience where this, where this guy warns him not to go for a drive. And then while he's laying on the on the road, you know, covered in blood, he has this experience where he sees, I believe it's supposed to be Mother Mary, and uh, which is a little strange for me, not being a Catholic, you know, uh, but it's essentially, an ex he has this experience with God, right? And I did like the fact that she mentions Jesus like to him while he's laying there, which is kind of cool. Um, but the really interesting thing about it is uh, we see his, suddenly there's this like shift in his character after this experience that he has with God, right? And one of the things he says is he says, uh, I always felt like I shouldn't be here and he says but I felt different after that night and it just it hit me so hard because I was reminded of a time when I was in college and I was kind of running I really was running from God uh, personally and I got in a really really bad car wreck but yet you know the car flipped several times we had seven people in the car most of them not seat belted some of them in the trunk it could have been really bad and yet we all walked away from that wreck without getting injured, you know, with very minor injuries. And from that day on, I had this feeling, so I can relate to his character right now. I had this feeling and this thought in my mind, 
I must be here for something. God did not save me from that for no reason. Like there must be a purpose for my my existence. You know, so I, I really relate to that. And I think that's so cool, like how they did that. Uh, but all right, move it on. Okay, so <laughs> very cool scene. He just went into a prison. Uh, he, he has some sort of disease that is causing his body. I think it may be a ALS. It's causing his body to basically shut down. Um, but he goes with his like uh, goody two shoes uh, priest friend into a prison, and they're trying to preach the gospel to these guys. And his priest friend like fails miserably because they can't relate to what he's saying at all, and he's kind of looking down his nose at them. But then Father Stu is literally coming from like the same life that these some of these guys have lived, and he just it's such a cool picture of. Uh, redemption honestly it's such a cool, cool picture of God being willing to take somebody that people would overlook and God being willing and able to use them and man gosh <laughs> I think if if we're all being honest uh, every single one of us that knows the Lord is coming from that same place you know <laughs> like for one reason or another Wow okay <laughs> man <clears throat> The line he just delivered at the end here is just amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to spoil all of this for you if you haven't seen it, but just kind of a twist at the end a little bit and he gets to uh he gets to share from his heart and he talks about how Jesus who knew no sin took all of our sin upon himself to show us God's love and and he talks about how like his the suffering that he's going through is really just drawing him closer to God because of the way that Christ suffered for us. And uh, he references a verse that where Paul talks about how, you know, we shouldn't even compare the sufferings of this present life to the glory that we're going to behold. There's some things in this film uh, that I would, uh, are, that are not my favorite. What do you think? I guess here's the question. What do you think? Is that the way to do it? Obviously, you know, they made this film rated R on purpose, probably trying to get anybody and everybody to get to go watch the film you know and then hear the message I don't think I would personally make a film like this uh, for that reason I probably wouldn't have put everything in here that was in here that's my response I hope y'all enjoyed it uh, I hope this has been <laughs> uh, yeah it's still a bummer that Mark Wahlberg did not join me for this reaction video but you know maybe next time if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to this channel please like this video share it all of that good stuff. That's all I have to say. Goodbye.